Bien, lo que vamos a ver hoy es al equipo de OpenAI que está en el Dead Day y están eh, mostrando cómo funciona la Real Time API. Básicamente es este servicio que lanzaron hace poco en el cual nos permiten pues, construir aplicaciones de voz a voz, es decir, hablas y toma comandos y la verdad es que han hecho una aplicación bastante curiosa, al principio la muestra y luego explica cómo es el funcionamiento por detrás, lo vemos y luego lo comentamos. I went ahead and prepared this application here. So it's going to show up on the screen in a minute. And it's a 3D view of the solar system. So this is just the front end. And then on the back end, I set up the real-time API like Mark just explained. But this time, it's part of a real application. So let's try it and see if it works. Hey, so can you tell me, what is the biggest planet in the solar system? Absolutely. The biggest planet in our solar system is Jupiter. It's so massive, it has more than twice the mass of all the other planets combined. Jupiter is the giant among giants. Okay, great. So the real-time interaction works, and I think it's already a more fun way of learning. But let's see if we can make it a bit more interactive. Hey, I'm curious about Earth. Sure thing. Earth is the third planet from the sun and the only one known to support life. It's packed with diverse ecosystems, abundant water, and a protective atmosphere that shields us from harmful solar radiation. Do you want to know more about Earth's characteristics? Well, I see that there's actually a lot of water there. So can you tell me how much land is there versus water? Absolutely. Approximately 71% of Earth's surface is covered by water while the remaining 29% is land. Our blue marble truly lives up to its name. <laughs> Let me show you this on a pie chart. Here's the breakdown of Earth's surface. Okay, great, thank you. I actually have a question about Mars now. Mars, the red planet, what would you like to know? So I heard there was a lot of volcanoes there. Can you tell me which one is the biggest? Absolutely, the biggest volcano on Mars and in the entire solar system, is Olympus Mons. It's about 13.6 miles, nearly three times the height of Mount Everest. Would you like more information on Olympus Mons? Yeah, can you tell me, like, uh, what are the three uh, biggest volcanoes and show me their heights? Certainly. The three biggest volcanoes on Mars are one, Olympus Mons, 13.6 miles, 22 kilometers high. Two, Ascreus Mons, about 11.3 miles, 18.1 kilometers high. Three, Arcea Mons, around 11.2 miles, 18 kilometers high. Okay, great, thank you. I just learned something. <laughs> great. So let's talk about what happened here. Not only could I ask questions and get answers in real time, but we also saw some interactions happening on the screen. So whenever I asked about a specific planet, we flew in to see it up close. And when I asked questions that could be answered with data, we saw some charts pop up on the screen. So how is that possible? Well, as Mark mentioned, the real-time API supports tool calls. So I actually went ahead and defined some tools that the model can use. So I have this focus planet tool that is called whenever we talk about a specific planet, it just takes the planet name as a parameter. And I also have this display data tool here. And the idea is that when something can be answered with data, the model will choose with which chart is the most appropriate, what should be the title, and what are the data points that should be displayed. So that's already a pretty cool use of tool calls. You can trigger interactions in your app. You can make interactive apps. So that's really cool. But sometimes you might also need to send data back to the model so that it can say it out loud. So let's see how we can do that. So I have this API call here that calls this endpoint that gets the current position of the International Space Station in real time. So it gets back the latitude and the longitude. And I have this function, fetch ISS position, that just fetches to that endpoint, gets a response back. 
Um, and I also define here this tool, show ISS, and whenever this tool is triggered by the model, we will call that fetch ISS position function and then send the position back to the model. So let's try it and see it in action. Hey, can you go back to Earth? Sure thing. We're back to our home planet, Earth. What would you like to explore? Can you tell me, where is the ISS right now? The International Space Station, ISS, is currently located over the Southern Hemisphere, around negative 35.6 degrees latitude, negative 32.61 degrees longitude. It's always orbiting around our beautiful planet. What else can I help you with? Great. Actually, how do you know the current position? I have access to real-time data, which allows me to track the current position of the ISS in its orbit around Earth. This information is updated frequently to give an accurate location of the station as it orbits our planet approximately every 90 minutes. Great. It's pretty cool, isn't it? What else can I assist you with? Yes, it is pretty cool. Um, great, so now you know how you can actually feed data to the model in real time so that it can use it in conversations with your users. Okay, last question. Hey, can you show me Pluto? Great, I heard it's not even a planet. That's right. Pluto was reclassified as a dwarf planet in 2006 by the International Astronomical Union. The reason? It didn't meet all the criteria for full planet status, mainly because it hasn't cleared its orbit of other debris. Nonetheless, Pluto remains a fascinating object with its own unique characteristics. What else would you like to learn? And I heard it has moons. What are those moons? <laughs> Great, thank you. Okay, so if we look at what the model is doing right here, it's calling this show moons tool with Pluto's moons as an argument. And here it's a very small array, but if you have a big array as a parameter, or if you have a long list of param parameters, you can actually stream that in real time while it's being generated to show it or to uh, let your user know about it before the tool call is ended. So that's like a very convenient way to use this information in real time. Okay, so great. With the Real Time API, we've actually built an immersive app that you can interact with through voice and that also reacts visually to what you're asking thanks to tool use. So I hope this is fine. Yeah. <laughs> Bueno, la idea es que a partir del 2025, pues la mayoría de empresas empiecen a ofrecer, si su producto pues lo permite, aplicaciones en las que puedas utilizar la voz en tiempo real. No solo de OpenAI, eh, Gemini acaba de lanzar también el mismo servicio y básicamente pues imagínate una tienda, Amazon, etcétera, que les puedas empezar a pedir eh, por voz, comprar o aplicaciones como esta que acabamos de ver de, eh, para la gente que pueda estudiar, hacer preguntas con bot y que a la vez la aplicación pues te muestre cambios. Como veis aquí está todo documentado, cómo funciona, de hecho saqué un vídeo de cómo probar y aquí tenemos el, el precio vale de la Real Time API, pues te dice que te están cobrando el precio de Test Input a 5 eh, dólares cada millón de token y 20 de salida y el audio, ¿vale? Que aquí es donde está la, la clave. Lo están cobrando a 100 dólares por cada millón de token de entrada y 200 eh, el millón de token de salida. Y para que estimemos, pues establecen que básicamente es 0,6 eh, por minuto de audio de entrada y 0,24 el minuto de salida. Esto hay que hacer cuentas porque imagínate, pues bueno... Al final, si te está cobrando el audio de salida eh, 24 céntimos por cada minuto de salida y tienes un millón de usuarios, ¿vale? Y ese millón de usuarios utilizan un minuto al día, son 240.000 euros, así que sí, aproximadamente 
esto, pues bueno, habrá aplicaciones que lo permitan, habrá aplicaciones que no lo permitan, podrás eh, utilizar modelos eh, propios tuyos. Y bueno, espero que os haya gustado este vídeo de la presentación que estaban haciendo del Real Time, me parece que era algo eh, bastante novedoso y como siempre espero que os haya gustado y nos vemos.